at this stage, we're all probably aware of the Twitch data leak where creator powered information, not like how they get paid, but how much they get paid, the source code for the website, and even things like an unreleased Steam competitor were just dumped out onto the internet. Now, from what we've seen, passwords were not included, not even a password hash. There is one article and articles referencing that article that say that passwords being stored in plain text and all of the passwords are now leaked, but this is part of the evidence they show, and if this is the evidence they're using, they don't know what they're looking at. It might be passwords for the internal, like, uh, company accounts, but no user accounts were released. And a few weeks back when the Epic Data Leak happened, I absolutely tore them apart. I roasted them for like a 15 minute video, not based on the fact that they had a leak. Every single online service is going to have a leak at some point. The reason why I tore them apart is because of their lack of response. At this stage, they've still done basically nothing. And there is plenty of reason to criticize Twitch. And as I would have expected, people jumped on straight away to start criticizing Twitch based on their response to this situation. And overall, yeah, they could have done some things better, but I want to use the Twitch response basically as the baseline for what every single company should at least aim to do. I would like you to go above that, but at least hitting this mark will make most people satisfied. So let's go all the way back to when the leak occurred, or at least when the data was made public. So this happened on October 6th, a little bit before midnight Pacific time. And Twitch didn't make any response about the situation until about eight hours later when they posted this on Twitter saying, we can confirm a breach has taken place. Our teams are working with urgency to understand the extent of this. We will update the community as soon as additional information is available. Thank you for bearing with us. I have seen a lot of people incredibly critical of this eight hour window, saying things like, oh, they should have addressed it in the first hour or the first 30 minutes. Basically, they should have done something faster. Now, you can certainly make that argument. They very well could have done something faster, put out a message, basically straight away. But there's two problems with this actually happening. Firstly, Twitch's headquarters is located in San Francisco. This is why I use Pacific Time. San Francisco uses Pacific Time. It was midnight at the Twitch office. So they probably didn't have many staff members on when the leak actually happened, if they had any at all. So that is the first problem. A lot of people probably didn't even know the leak happened until they got there first thing in the morning. It also takes time to verify that a leak actually did happen. Just because everyone is talking about a leak and just because everyone is saying the leak actually did happen doesn't mean the leak actually is real and they had to go and spend the time, get the data, make sure that this actually is a real leak because when you're at the scale of someone like Twitch, Amazon, eBay, YouTube, there is always going to be these fake data sets of things that look like a leak, and they'll be like, oh, we scraped some data, or we made up some data, things like this. So it takes them that time, otherwise this is going to be just Twitch sending out these messages every single day, and that's not helpful for Twitch, and it's not helpful for its users. Plus, when a company is as big as Twitch, there's going to be a lot of bureaucracy and red tape. Whenever it comes to using any of the official communication channels, you need to have, like, meetings, all this other stuff that companies love to do. Basically, it it takes time to do this. At this stage, they had not confirmed anything contained within the leak. That didn't occur until about 14 hours later. Now, once again, someone might say 14 hours is a very big window, but it is 150 gigabytes of data. So... I expect that to take a bit to go through. Anyway, we have learned that some data was exposed to the internet due to an error in a Twitch server configuration change that was subsequently accessed by a malicious third party. Our teams are working with urgency to investigate the incident. As the investigation is ongoing, we are still in the process of understanding the impact in detail. We understand that this situation raises concerns, and we want to address some of these here while our investigation continues. At this time, we have no indication that logging credentials have been exposed. We are continuing to investigate. Additionally, full credit card numbers are not stored by Twitch, so full credit card information were not exposed. Now, there is two main problems I take with what Twitch has said. 
Firstly, they are seriously downplaying the value of the data that was leaked. While the creator payouts isn't really that big of a deal, and all of the big creators are now basically joking about it, everyone runs the extension to like say how much someone's getting paid anyway a lot of the creators were like including where they ranked on the list in their title no one cared about that source code on the other hand is a much bigger deal now twitch not being made to be an open source platform like every proprietary application is going to take security shortcuts because they know that no one can actually see the code having that stuff out there is a really big deal for Twitch. I don't know how up-to-date the data actually was. It may have been outdated source code, but even so, I guarantee they have not rewrote the entirety of Twitch. The other problem I have is the way they have communicated their message. So this right here is the Twitch blog. Now, if you read the Twitch blog, you would know about this, but Nobody reads the Twitch blog, they just get sent a link to something posted on the Twitch blog. Over on the Twitch website, there's no obvious link on here to actually get to it. There might be a way. If we go in here, yeah, there's a blog link right here. But when you have a data leak like this, there should be some reference directly on the homepage to this actually happening. The main way they've been trying to get their message out there is by sending stuff over on Twitter. Now... That's fine, I guess. Any creator out there that takes it seriously is going to have a Twitter, but not all of the Twitch users are going to have that. Now, some people actually did get an email saying, hey, this leak happened, here's the data that was included, but I know that I certainly didn't get one. So at this point, as of 22 hours after the leak, no data had been reset. The Twitch team were trying to work out whether they should go and reset it, what approach they should have to make sure this problem doesn't get any worse than it needs to get. So about four hours after this original post was made, they went and made an update to it saying, hey, we have gone and reset every single stream key on the website. Not because they were concerned that stream keys were leaked, this was basically done as a precautionary measure to make sure that if they were leaked, it's not really that big of a deal. Plus, people probably should have updated their stream keys anyway. It's much, much safer to go and reset that every couple of months like you would with a password. One problem is no one was given any warning of this, so anyone streaming at the time forcibly had their key changed, meaning the key on Twitch and the key in OBS or whatever streaming software they were using didn't match, and everybody's stream died. Now, even though that was done as a precautionary measure and not because stream keys actually were leaked, the same approach has not been taken with passwords, and they still remain unchanged. If this was done entirely to be precautionary, it makes way, way more sense to go and reset both. It doesn't really matter that passwords reset and everyone has to log back in. That's fine. It makes more sense to be extra safe to ensure that no passwords are actually out there. Plus, they probably should have sent an email saying, hey, make sure you go and enable two-factor authentication just to make sure that if your password does leak, that someone can't easily go and log into your account. They still need to get through that step. And since this last post about stream keys five days ago as a recording this... This was the last thing that Twitch actually did, or at least did publicly, in any way that anyone can actually see. So basically, their entire addressment of this situation happened within the first 26 hours. Now, that might seem like a very, very long time, and sure, there is a lot of data that can be abused within that time, but if we go and compare this to the epic situation where weeks after the entire situation happened, nothing has been reset, Basically, no information about it has been sent out. They're still trying to downplay the leak and say, oh, it wasn't really that bad. Compared to that, this is perfectly adequate. It's not amazing. They certainly could have done stuff way, way quicker if they really, really tried to. But it was adequate and got the job done. We can drag Twitch over the coals for any number of things they do, whether it is the inconsistent moderation, which now isn't just a rumor, this is something that was proved by the leak, where some people, if they get a ban sent towards them, rather than dealing with the regular Twitch mod team, they will have a specific staff member assigned to help them through the situation. 
or not really addressing the hate raids whatsoever, Twitch having absolutely no avenues for growing a channel on their actual platform, and also the addition of absolutely useless features. But if we're going to drag them over the coals, I don't think the way they handle this situation is something that should actually be brought up. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Maybe you disagree with me and just completely hate the way that Twitch addressed this and they should have done something within the first second and the leak should have never happened. They should have just reversed time, build a time machine and just take us back. I want to hear your thoughts. So if you like this video and you want to support the channel and become one of these amazing people over here, please go check out my Patreon subscribers to only bearer pay, linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T available basically anywhere. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robertson Plays where I live stream twice a week, upload about five or so YouTube shorts, and this channel is available over on Odyssey. That's going to be it for me, and I'm out.